Today we're going to see how good of a job Fisk Industries really does. Hi guys, Jonathan from Two Raven Studios. Welcome. We have new videos every week and you don't want to miss out, so make sure you subscribe. Today we're going to look at the New York construction site pack for Crisis Protocol. If you saw last week's video when I reviewed the Cosmic Train, we're going to take a very similar approach. So we're going to look at the pieces on the sprues, we're going to stick them together, see what they look like, and then we're going to compare them to the rest of the terrain that's available. Today we're actually going to compare every single piece of Crisis Protocol terrain that's currently available to see how they stack up against each other. And in the end, we'll find out if this is something that is right for you. So let's hop right into it and start taking a look at those pieces. So we're going to start off with the barrels. They're pretty simple, just three pieces, the two sides and the top. You can see some of the detail on the top parts there. And let's put them together. They go together very easily. If you see at the bottom, unlike most pieces of terrain, they do not have a number. I think it's because you could stack them all together like this to make a different size piece of terrain if you want to. So individually they're size one or size two together. And here's what it actually looks like next to the trash can from the original set. So you can see it's a little bit bigger, but not by much. Next up, we have the barriers. These are again, our simple assembly. It's just two sides that glue together. Let's put them together. These are actually kind of neat. So again, there is no s number on the bottom of them, but what they do is if you see these offsets on the side, you can stick two of them together and they'll slot together like this. So I think again, the number, the reason the number is not there is because you could use them as a size one individually or a size two if you put them together like this. Next up, we have the mixer. So there's some pretty cool detailing on the mixer. It's the little Fisk nameplate. The wheels. Pretty cool. And then once we get it together, it actually goes together pretty nice. Most of the seam lines between the different pieces are not very visible. You have the Fisk logo on there that goes together nice. So some pretty nice detailing on here. I'm very happy with this. And next up, we have the loader, which comes in two different sprues. You can see this one actually is, has a little bit of detail to assembly and it needs to go together in a specific order to fit. But there's some very nice detailing, like the mesh around the cabin there and everything. So I love this piece now that it's together. It's actually put together very clever. It hides most of the seam lines between the pieces. You see there at the top's really the only place you can see the seam and along the bottom, which you're not going to see, but very nicely put together in very nice detail. Next up, we have the office, which is gigantic. So it comes on three different separate sprues. You can have it either be a Fisk office or damage control. There's the two different symbols that go on it. So that's kind of the detail bits. Then you have the two sides. And the top and bottom, which oddly enough, they both have the four on them. I don't know why the inside of the top has the four, but there's four on both the top and bottom. Let's put it together. And this is quite incredible. Most of the seam lines are all hidden the way it goes together. It has this air conditioning vent and there's a little seam there at the top, but it's almost not visible. It's kind of the only spot on the entire thing where you can see a seam line. The assembly is very clever on this, and it's just very nice detailing. I'm very happy with this. So now that we know what all the pieces look like, we're actually going to compare them to the other terrain sets. So we're going to compare them to the other New York City terrains that it's supposed to match. We're also going to compare it to the cosmic terrain and see how it matches there. We're going to go through this size by size. So we're going to start with the size four pieces of terrain and work our way down to the size one and see how everything compares together. 
So let's start out looking at the office. It's about nine inches long, two and a half inches wide, and let's compare it to the kiosk from the original set. So you can see it just dwarfs it. So it's a little bit taller, but in every other dimension, it just takes up so much more space on the battlefield than the kiosk. But let's compare it to the other size four pieces of terrain since it's size four. So we have the vendor stand from the cosmic set or the truck that's available separately. The truck and the vendor stand are very similar in size, but again, this office is just way bigger than any piece of terrain we've gotten before. The truck come, probably comes closest to it in dimension, but it's still, it's just a massive piece of terrain. So here's all the size four, they barely fit in the frame, but here's all three pieces that are currently available. Now let's look at the loader, which is size three. So the other size three pieces of terrain we have available is actually Thanos' throne. It's actually a piece of terrain that is size three, although it comes with the cosmic encounter set. We have the nodes, the two different versions of it from the cosmic terrain set. And the kiosk from the original terrain set. So there are the currently three available you can see the loader is actually a little bit smaller than the other size three pieces of terrain currently available, but it's actually not as small as you think it is. So if we hold it up next to the car from the original set, you can see it actually is far bigger than the size two pieces. I'm actually going to throw this in here. It's actually the other back from the truck that I just 3D printed some legs out to make another size three piece of terrain for myself. So even though that's technically not one of the official ones. It's something I made from the official pieces. But there's your th size three terrain. And I just wanted to show you the mixer next to the loader. So the, the loader is actually quite a bit larger than the mixer. So this is our size two piece of terrain. If we want to compare it to our other size two piece of terrain, it'd be the car and the dumpster from the first terrain set. As well as the signs and the barricades from the cosmic terrain set. So all of these are actually pretty close in size. I'm going to say it's probably closest in size to the dumpster in terms of how much space it takes up on the battlefield, but they're all pretty close for the size too, far closer than some of the bigger pieces are. And lastly, we have the size one terrain. And before we start, I want to show you if we put two of these barriers together next to the barricade from the cosmic train set, they're about the same size. So like I was saying, they could be size one separately or put them together as a size two piece. But just the stri strict size one pieces, we have the light and street sign from the original New York set and the light from the cosmic set. So as you can see, the barriers take up a similar size to the other pieces, but the barrel is actually quite a bit smaller. And as a piece of terrain by itself, it's actually pretty small. I think to get something significant out of it, you'd have to combine it together with the other pieces. So let's review everything that's in this box and see if this is something right for you. So we have the office, which is size four, the loader, which is size three, the mixer, which is size two, six barriers, which are size one and six barrels, which are size one or can be combined together. So here's the pieces and a little work in progress preview of my paint job. I personally have very mixed feelings about this terrain set. So technically there are 15 pieces of terrain in this set, but most of them are size one. The only real ones that are like significantly usable would be the office, the loader and the mixer, which are size four, three and two respectively. Everything else is just kind of little tiny pieces of scattered terrain that you could combine together to make some significant pieces. That said, I love the stuff that comes in this set. I think the loader is the coolest piece of terrain that they've come out for. The office is just huge, and the way it goes together is very impressive. The mixer looks cool. I love how the little barricades can slot together. But I just don't know if overall it's worth the price. This is actually more expensive than the standard New York City terrain pack, which I think gives you more value in what's in it. And it's less expensive than the 
cosmic terrain set but again the cosmic terrain set like i said last time will give you a full table's worth of terrain in one go which this while technically the number of pieces is there it's really not giving you a full table's worth of terrain so i feel the price point on this is a little bit higher than i would like if you could find it for a discount i would totally pick it up because like i said What's in this set is really, really well done. I think it's some of the best pieces of terrain they've done. It's just the amount of terrain you get is not all that impressive. So if you can find it for a price that you find reasonable for the contents, by all means, buy it. I'm not saying what's in this set is junk. It's not. It's amazing. I just feel like they should have given you a little bit more for the price point. But I'm definitely going to be putting this on the table, combining it with the other New York terrain, which is the advantage of this set because it does go with everything else that's released for the New York set. So this might be for you, might not be for you. You're going to have to decide on that, whether it's worth the price to you. So what do you think about this terrain set? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate a like. I'm actually painting up this terrain set, and there will be a video Friday on that process, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. And until next time, keep on gaming and paint your minis.